Hey guys, welcome back to Jibbus, a Cthulhu adventure. In the last episode, not only did we uh, leave the temple, but we also entered Fishmouth with Buzz and with, well, with uh, Katype, we managed to uh, leave the temple. Alright, so here we are though, and we Got the entertainer's license. This fine piece of paper claims I'm an official festival entertainer. Nice. And we are going to get that to the Webfoots. Mr. and Mrs. Webfoot, here's my entertainer's license. Huh. I'll be darned. Horrible Oopsie, thing sorry. To pit, huh? Hey, didn't you say your name was Kirby or something? Uh, Tornston is my stage name. We just might be attending your show, Mr. Tornston. Welcome to Fishmouth. Keep yourself, and don't do no nosing around if you don't have to. Gotcha, Silas. See you folks around. Well, I guess we will be snooping around. But that's just how the game works, right? So, uh, ah, okay, so there's the arrow, now we can enter. There it is. That's Finman's over there. I don't know, man. It's been all fun and games so far, but this place is giving me the serious creeps. Can't argue with that. That is true. All right, so we are still going to have a look around. So there is another gate here. There's a light coming from somewhere down there, but the gate's positively locked. Mm-hmm. She doesn't come with the lockpick feature. Mm-hmm. I don't really have a reason to, plus it's locked. Mm -hmm. Citizen eating a sandwich with newspaper. As crumbling and decayed as Darkham, maybe a bit more. Mm -hmm. You couldn't pay me enough to live there. Okay. I might be a poor student slash librarian, but she has some living standards. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look at the jalapeno. It has reached its final destination. It's not taking me anywhere. She could care less about it. An oil puddle. It puddles. It's what it does. Can't think of any use for it. Nah, she's a neat freak. Hmm, idle citizen too. Aha, uh -huh, a trash can. A great example of the Urban Decay School of Design. Fascinating wonders might await deep in its smelly confines, but I won't be the one to discover them. Ah, oh, come on, really? It's a point and click. Going through tra trash cans is just part of it. Oh, I'm a cat, so I'm into smelly trash cans. Is that what this is? I didn't say anything. Urgh. It gets really dark that way, really dark. Mm -hmm. One, it's dark as heck. Two, no reason to go down that way. Three, did I mention how scary it looks? Four, mm. scaredy cats are not necessarily felines. Hey, we need to stay on target. I'd go there, but Mr. Shaky Pants over here won't. Because there's no reason to. Jeez. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm, okay, but... If we need to, we know that Kitty will go there. Even darker, Ellie. Okay. Oh, brother. This one's even darker. Nope, not going down there. I don't think I'll venture down the dark, foul-smelling, creepy alley anytime soon. I'd go there, but Mr. Shake... Because there's no... Re mm -hmm. uh okay, so that's the same dialogue. That's fine. Okay, so we are going to talk to the people here. We could also just go... What happens if we go there? Let me... Let me just go there first. Are we gonna die if we do so? Nope, but there is even more to explore. So we are going to go here, but we are going to talk to the people here first. We're gonna start A with the people. The citizen really intent on reading that newspaper. Yeah, that's the first one we are going to I talk to. I don't wanna to. involve her. So let's talk. Gliding down through the dark green water. Yeah. Is that all? 
<laughs> he can breathe underwater because he has amphibious nostrils. I'm sorry, who? Oh my goodness, okay, that is kind of creepy. <laughs> On the way down, he passed hundreds of trout of different sizes. <laughs> mm hmm. Trout are fresh water fish and have underwater weapons. I'm. I mean, what? Trout are very valuable and immensely powerful. They are. Keep away from the trout. Uh, okay, that's a promise. And don't doubt the trout. I knew we would get a uh, an achievement for that, and we did. All right, so let's have a look at the guy eating his sandwich. It's a fishmouth citizen enjoying his sandwich. She has nothing to say. But we do. Good evening, good sir. Evening, stranger. The name's Buzz. Buzz Kerwin. Nope, that's wrong, I'm afraid. The name's Milton. Milton the Mechanic. The Mechanic, huh? Yeah, <laughs> my name's Buzz. I didn't know they named kids Buzz anymore. I thought that was considered cruel and unusual. <sighs> hmm. The Mechanic? Is that your surname? Yes, sir. Maybe you heard of us if you're from around Miskatonic. We're a distant offshoot of the Kingsport the Plumbers. They hate our guts. Sorry to hear that. Nothing to be sorry about. We hates their guts, too. Just straight up gut hating back and forth. Always been the way in our clan. It's nice to have traditions. Sure is. Is this your truck you're sitting next to? Sure was. It's dead now. Bleeding oil all over the road like them, like them zebras, you know, on National Zoo TV. Them poor, poor striped horses. Uh. Used to watch them shows a lot as a kid. Always got to me how them critters was meeting their end. I mean, a lion's gotta eat, but us humans? Man, we can do better than that. I made me a choice back then. You became a vegetarian? Hell nah! In Fishmouth? You crazy? We put fish in everything here. Nah, I swore off zebra meat forever. Never <laughs> felt better, never felt the need for it. But yeah, the truck's mine. Okay. So are you doing anything about the truck? Nothing. Sitting here, hopeless, despairing, eating my tasty fish sandwich. Bon appetit. Nah, it's just tuna. Mm-hmm. What can you tell me about Fishmouth? Well, I don't know how you made it in, but the sooner your non-local hides is out of here, the better. Us Fishmouth folk don't like out-of-towners, no siree. And the order... The... order? Mm, never mind, I'm just talking crazy. Been playing too many of them blasted video games, you know? Make you dumb, they do. <laughs> yeah, that's what I hear. Okay. Are you gonna eat your second sandwich? Now that's a very personal question, Mr. Curlin. What of it? I, uh, would like to have it? You would, wouldn't you? Well, I tell you what, I'll trade you for it. What do you have in mind? I have a craving. A craving for something scrumptious. A human heart, perhaps? Yours? Huh? Oh, I'm awfully sorry, I don't know what came over me. Been playing these dark sci-fi adventure games. They've been messing with me. True as I'm sitting here and telling you. Murder simulators, awful stuff. Indeed. Where was I? Oh yeah. Get me something refreshing, and you got the sandwich. Hmm. I think you'll like this can of Dr. Fisher. Why, I sure will. Dr. Fisher's trademark. My favorite! <laughs> this gonna go down real good once I'm done with my sandwich. Made with the finest, most odorous fish mouth water. Mm-mm. A deal's a deal, Mr. Kremlin. Here's your sandwich. Enjoy. Okay, so we traded cow soda Enjoy for sandwich. Another sandwich. Okay, so we got a sandwich. We don't know if what Catch for? You later, Milton. You probably will. My truck's dead. Uh huh. Okay. 
got you bro all right so we got a sandwich it's milton's tasty second sandwich tuna by the looks and smells of it Ugh. okay can we it's not really cat food but it's tuna okay i thought maybe that would not fool no it wouldn't but not tainting this fine sandwich with its suspicious contents okay Sandwich contains tuna. Let's not bring it back to life. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, the oil puddle. And we have this person over here. This citizen. Okay. She looks really, um, not happy. Okay. It's a she. She's just as mean as you are, cat. Uh, police. Okay. Let's talk. Try at least. Hi there. You staying at the Finmans tonight? I I might be. Good luck. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. Is that all? Hey, what did you mean by good luck? It's no fun if I tell you. You gonna find out yourself soon enough. <laughs> Is there something about the Finman house you're not telling me? You got the wrong person, stranger. Tourist info's over that way. Not a lot of help from there, I'm afraid. Help? Oh, you don't need that. Yet. <laughs> wow. That's creepy. Wow. I don't think I want to talk to her anymore. Okay, we're not going to talk to her, but... <laughs> now I'm a little scared to enter the Finman house, which is why we are going to go to the harbor, it seems. Yeah, this is like the harbor, maybe? Okay, we'll have a look around here first. Why do they just let it rot in there? Surely people prefer it fresh, right? My stomach turns just at the thought of it. Ooh, I have my standards, thank you. Why am I staring at her? Back to adventuring. A rotting basket full of putrid fish, or the other way around. Mm-hmm. Ooh, I have my... Fish, I'm not a fan of. Badly decayed ones, even less so. Okay, now I'm curious. It's not really... They'll never eat again, sadly. Okay, okay. I thought maybe could do something here. What is this? A strangely shaped reef. Almost an island, really. Mm-hmm. No, thank you. She's not going anywhere. Yeah, it's a little bit too far away, right? Okay, so on this side is another there is a wreck, there is a fishing boat. There's another a rusty, person. Creaking fishing boat that's seen better days. Not if you paid me. The rats have long abandoned that ship. Hmm, there is a drunkard. This is the same as the There's other one. There's really no way around it. It looks like a pair of horns surfacing from below. Oh my goodness, okay. No, thank you. She's not... Alright, let's have a look at the wreck. Oh, there are even more people back here. Looks like the oldest ship anchored in Fishmouth Harbor. If only it could tell its tales. It's fascinating, but not worth diving in the murky waters and later dying from God knows what fascinating. True. Very true. She's not going anywhere. Okay, there is a sea captain and a sailor over here. But nothing else. Okay, we're gonna start by talking to this one. What is about sailing that turns people to alcohol? Good question. I want nothing to do with that. Okay. A vast ye landlubber. A vast to you too, kind sir. Oh, is that all? What can you do with a fishmouth sailor? What indeed? Okay, we're gonna keep talking. Ahoy, matey. Blow the man down. 
This guy's a dedicated spouter of seafaring cliches. Fifteen men on a dead man's chest. That would explain his death. Shiver me timbers. What does that even mean? The vast yield on lover. A vast to you too, kind sir. What can you? What? Okay, so this one didn't give us any uh, any achievement, but that's okay. Uh, the question is, do we talk to the sea captain first or to the, to the drunkard? I feel like we're gonna talk to the drunkard first. It's an old drunk sailor chilling in that rope coil. Nah, I don't want to get her involved. Hi there, Gramps. What you? Well, get, get lost, youngun. Hmm. My name's Buzz. Nice to meet you. Get on out of here. Fish. Fish myth ain't no place for you, boy. Well, at least you fish muthians are consistent about that. What a great evening to be alive, isn't it? <sighs> you think I'm crazy, don't you? Where'd you get that idea? <sighs> Old Zadok knows. Mm-hmm. You should not be drinking that, old timer. Who, who, who are you to tell old Zadok what to do, sonny? Go, get. You think I'm crazy, don't you? No, I really don't. I hate to come across as judgmental, but do you really want to spend your twilight years in an alcohol-induced stupor? It is not a choice, sonny boy. If you'd have seen what these old eyes have seen, I tell you. Tell me. Uh, nah, rather drink, boy. Whiskey makes one forget. You said you wanted to forget. Why not remember? There's things too uh, horrible to be remembered, boy. Believe all Zadok. Why you think I'm crazy, don't you? I don't know why you insist on asking me that. I do not think you're crazy, Grandpa. Really need that drink, huh? <sighs> I... I'm willing to do you a world of good and take that cursed whiskey off of your hands. Have you considered a healthier alternative? What you babbling about there, boy? Hmm... How about coffee? How about coffee? I never touched the stuff. Never even smelled it. You've never smelled coffee? Not in my life, boy. My mama, rest us all, she tried to get my peppy to drink it. Left the old hooch. But my peppy wasn't having any of it. Tis evil little. It's the devil's drink. Then he dunk another whiskey. <laughs> Lord rest him. That's a story to remember, Gramps. Hmm. How about tea? Nothing like a warm cup of tea to relax you and get you in the mood for a chat. I can't stand that stuff. I've been a fisherman all my life, boy. It was just water, 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 all the time. I ain't putting that water down concoction in me, no sir. Kinda got a point there. <laughs> How about soda? Soda? <laughs> Why that sugar water, son? <sighs> Health alternative, my soul to behind. <laughs> Can't argue with that. Yeah, he's right. How about orange juice? <laughs> hey, no oranges in fish, my sonny boy. You're more likely to squeeze juice out of a calamari. And you don't want to taste that, Trussell Zadok. I'll take your word for it. So you never tasted or smelled coffee in your life? Not in my life, son. Couldn't tell it apart from gasoline. It's a... Um, it's a question of pensum. Uh, prin... <coughs> principle. Mm-hmm. So you... Not in my... It's a... Okay, so we it's have... A yeah, we... Okay, I've got to run. run. Run, boy. Never return. Okay, we want to bring him some coffee, it seems. But before we do that, time to talk to the sea captain. Oh, an actual sea captain in the flesh. She even smells like one. <laughs> Whatever that Man, means. No need to involve Kitty. Ahoy, that your ship over there? She ain't going nowhere anytime soon, Lubba. Frankly, I'm flattered you'd call me that, but I don't think we've met before. Leave your bilge rat. 
Oh, okay, understood. Bye. Okay, so she won't talk to us? Ahoy, that your ship over there? She ain't going no- Right? Leave you- Oh. Okay, alright, so apparently she won't talk to us. Maybe later. So we had a look around here. We need coffee for that guy. So let's enter here. Uh, there's- Oh, there is a cultist. Stairs leading up to the rooms. Holmstein must be up there. Mm-hmm. I'm afraid I can't do it without Finman's permission. Can we have the- if we go upstairs, we do it together. Okay, I thought so. Let's have a look at the keys panel. Those are the room keys, and they're all present but one. Mm-hmm. The one key I'm interested in is the one that's missing. Mm -hmm. She's not interested. But we are interested. Okay, a coffee pitcher. Complimentary coffee. Black as midnight on a moonless night. How thoughtful of Mr. Finman. I don't think we want to find out what that would do. Nothing to pour it in. We don't have anything right now, do we? No, we don't. Okay, so we will need something later on. It seems like it's always 10 o'clock in this hotel. She doesn't care for it. I don't think this one opens. Mm hmm. Nothing over here. Let's have a look at the pilgrim then. Looks like he's the strong, silent type. So we won't be able to talk to I them? I am completely uninterested. Let's try. Hello. Oops, sorry. Okay then. Hmm. Hello. Oh. Okay, nothing out of this. That there must be the namesake of this hotel. No, I. Uh, hello there. <clears throat> hmm. What a great evening in Fishmouth, isn't it? Evening. Yeah, I suppose it is evening. Hmm. I don't know what you find so great about it, though. Uh, you know, the salty sea-scented breeze, the smell of rotting fish, the, the distant thunder. Charming. <laughs> mm hmm Mr. Finman, I presume. That's me, yeah. Nice hotel you've got here. Nice. Ain't nothing nice about it. We don't do nice in Fishma. There anything I can do for you, stranger? Bob Olmstein. <laughs> uh, what did you just say? <laughs> oh, God, my spleen? You should have that checked out, stranger. Your spleen plays multiple important roles in your body. It's a filter for blood and part of your immune system. It also helps fight bacteria, especially the kind that causes pneumonia and meningitis. So I've heard. Okay, thanks for the info. Oh, cooked spleen's supposed to taste real yummy. I, I don't mean the human kind, of course. I, I wouldn't know about that. I don't know about. <clears throat> Very interesting. Okay. I'd like a room, please. I'd love to help you out, sir. We's all completely booked up. Really? I only see one key missing on that wall behind you. Ain't you been snooping around? Got a bunch of pilgrims coming over for the festival soon. That one standing there is the first of the bunch. Book the whole place they did. Don't bother wasting your breath on him. He ain't talking nothing. You ain't from Fishmouth, is ya? I can smell it all over you. Why you come here? You're a direct man, aren't you, Mr. Finman? <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, and I've been known to judge a man. He was nosy. And skinny. Too skinny. Mm-hmm. Well, that was judgmental. Yes, well, think nothing of it. I just got this hunger up in me. Ain't eaten nothing in a while. Mm-hmm. So about that room? We's all booked. See that pilgrim standing over there? Him and his kind done booked up every single room except the one. About to arrive any minute now. Otherwise, I love to serve you. <laughs> Maybe it's me, but did that really warrant such a laugh? Oh, think nothing of it, stranger. 
It's the hunger, you see. My stomach's growling is all. Makes me say all kind of things. Ain't no mind. Mm-hmm. Can I interest you in this cookie I've got here? I'm a... I'm a meat man myself, but... Right now, I could eat just about anything, I reckon. If it ain't meat, though, I got to wash it down some, and I ain't got anything. Mm. You mean like alcohol, right? He was pretty smart for a stranger. Mm-hmm. All meat, huh? Got any preferences, or anything goes? Oh, I got my preferences. <laughs> Sorry, Skinny. Don't be judging me. Look at yourself, all oh, skin and bone. Nothing on you worth mentioning. Uh, what? what what'd you mean? Oh, nothing, nothing. <laughs> mm hmm How come you don't have any alcohol around? Been no need. We've been having plenty of meat around here. Till it stopped coming, that is. Be arriving for the festival soon, though. Ain't that right, Pilgrim? Them, them brothers of yours arriving soon, eh? <laughs> I don't get it. Are the pilgrims bringing you meat? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You could say that. You could definitely say that. <laughs> That's one exceptionally jovial innkeep. Anyway. Hmm. Oh, so the one occupied room is this pilgrim's. No, it's someone else staying there. Can you tell me what his name is? Here at Flynnman House, we value our customers' privacy. Uh-huh. What's this festival you mentioned? Nothing you should know of. That's our business. We fish... <laughs> Fishmouth folk. It's Fishmouth business. We got our own to look up to. Don't need your funny-smelling outsiders telling us what to do and who to listen to. I might just hang around and check it out if it's happening soon. That's not to be advised, Skinny. The order don't take kindly to strangers. Mm hmm. The order? What order? Nah, never you mind them. Aw, oh, come on, tell me. I'm here. Might as well learn a thing or two about Fishmouth. The only thing you need to know about that there esoteric order is that they don't want you here. So you best be on your way. That's all I can tell you. Mm-hmm. What's this festival you mentioned? Nothing you should know of. That's our business. We got our own to look for. Mm -hmm. That's not to... Okay. Does anyone take kindly to anyone around here? Our own, outsider. You don't like it? You can skedaddle on out of here. The order? What order? Nah, never you mind that. Aw, oh, come on, tell me. I'm here. The only thing you need mm -hmm. is that. Mm -hmm. Has, uh, has the guy in the room brought you any meat? Butcher, fancy yourself some kind of detective or something outsider? What's with all them questions now? I'm just curious by nature. Too curious, you ask me. No place for your kind here, outsider. Just wondering how come your one customer hasn't provided you with any meat, that's all. He's a stranger in that one. He ain't nothing like our usual customers. Pays damn well, too. Gold, stranger, gold. We as likes our gold up in here. Mm-hmm. So gold is popular around here, huh? Used to be... Mm, you asking way too many questions, Skinny. I'm here to see this gentleman. He ain't come down in a while. I don't reckon he will anytime soon. I wouldn't wait if I were you, stranger. You know, getting constantly called a stranger and an outsider tends to be a little grating after a while. Have you considered that? We don't take... Kindly, gotcha. Mm-hmm. I gotta run. Take care, stranger. <laughs> All right, that was very interesting. Let's put it that way. But guys, I'm really sorry. We have hit the end of the episode mark. We actually are quite above it already. But we had this conversation with Finman and, well, I guess 
it's time to end this episode and have a look around town a little more to get up there on the stairs. So if you want to know if we can reach Bormstein or whatever he was called again, you'll have to tune in next time for Jibbus, a Cthulhu adventure. See you then.